Chapter 16 Oh Ho 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 The Martians have been very kind to us since we arrived. They seemed telepathic, that they knew what we were missing. Being stuck in a cabin in space for months, he made us appreciate the expanse of the red planet in spite of the dust. We were happy to carry our own weight again, and so we worked on areas where we could return the favor. Some of us with the expertise took it to the hospital. Others fixed a few things that needed fixing at the garage. While dear Sally continued her research at the greenhouse. And the rest of the crew collected some eggs to bring back to the kitchen. Beelzebub and I, I think we had the simplest job of all. There's no shortage of dust devils and dust storms on Mars. We were sweeping dust off solar panels every day. One day, we were visited by a big dust cloud. So big that it completely covered the entire planet. The wind wasn't that strong, but there was zero visibility outside. We thought the dust would settle soon enough, but after two weeks stuck indoors, we started to wonder when things would go back to normal on Mars. I asked our Martian friend DJ if he knew when the storm would stop. He said he didn't know. I told him we were running out of energy because all the solar panels were covered in dust. It didn't seem to bother him. He continued walking with a skip. He was in a chipper mood. How odd, I thought. I followed him and we entered a room full of boxes. He pulled out a box from a pile and said, in here is where I keep my worries. I opened the box, but it was empty. Oh, ho, 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 he said. It's in there. You just can't see it. I asked him, why do you keep it in here? He said, because it's the appropriate sized box.